any wind noise y'all are gonna hear out here it's uh it's pretty breezy but decided to get out here today it's beautiful and decided i'd get out here and do some digging and so far i found a few things a couple bullet casings a couple buttons some sort of little interesting piece of metal i'm not sure what that is but just found me something that it ain't the fanciest one but it's my first one detecting and it's been on my list to find for a long time just found me a little smashed thimble it's just an aluminum one it's not silver nothing fancy like that it doesn't have any name on it that i can see but but that is my first thimble so i'm happy with that so we'll keep going and uh, see if we can find something else well this wind is getting worse, but I moved spots over here to a spot I've never hunted before. Farmer and me got to talking. He said he thinks there was some houses over here. So uh, I drove over here. And first target right here. Let me flip this around. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it is. Got us a little piece of a gas valve, so that's a good sign. I'm seeing a few pieces of glass and... That gas valve means there was something here, so this spot's never been dug by by us, so uh, hopefully it's got some stuff. I'll keep swinging and see what we can find. Well, I'm sorry about this wind noise again, but just walked up on a marble right there. First one of the year. Heck yeah. We'll take it. I think there's definitely a house site here. I just got to get right on top of it, so I'm looking for it, but... It's got some pretty purple in it. That's a nice one. We'll keep going. Well, I'm out here doing some digging with my buddy, and uh, I think I may have just dug my first Civil War bullet. That's what it looks like. It's like a three ringer. I can't believe that. And get it cleaned up and I'll show you. Alright, there it is. Beautiful bullet. Keep looking, see what else we can find. Well, still out here digging. It's hard to see probably, but it's a 1911 Weedy. Happy with that. We'll keep digging around, see what else we can find. Well, I think I just found me a pretty little piece of gold plated jewelry it's like a flower with some little hearts or something by the back I'm gonna guess maybe it was a cuff link or something I'm not 100% sure but it's pretty whatever it is definitely happy to find that we'll keep looking see what else we can find well just found me a neat little collar stud always wanted to find one of those and there we go Keep looking. Well, how's it going, everybody? I'm finally getting around to cleaning all this stuff up and putting this all together so that y'all can see everything I've found over the last uh, few hunts. This is, uh, it was a lot more than I thought it was. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get a video out, but all these videos you've just seen are all put together from the last, I guess, three hunts I've been on or so. It's, uh, it's been a little slow. I haven't got out a whole lot, but clearly I did pretty well for the days I did get out. It's uh, springtime in Arkansas, and if it ain't been raining or snowing or just a couple days ago or yesterday, we had a tornado hit up north of us, tear a bunch of stuff up in Springdale, and uh, the weather's been interesting, but I figured it's about time for me to get all this stuff put together and show y'all since I'm fixing to head out tomorrow to head down to the Kadoha Indian Village with Brandon and all them and do that big hunt, looking forward to it, and uh so I'll flip this around and uh, show you everything up close. We did pretty well on the tools. Lots of monos. 
that one's got a little nut and stone indention down in the middle of it super smooth a bunch of broken ones of course got a few little interesting stone tools this is quartz and in the area we were hunting there is no quartz it's all sandstone so that was pretty interesting not sure what some of these pieces are very clearly shaped but as to what they were for i have no clue lots of broke tools and flakes scrapers you know this thing was just a crude crude tool of some sort or it was just never finished one of the two got another little piece of broken quartz something right there this little flake was real pretty real pretty material did do pretty well on the points though most were broke some decent ones this one was a beauty though real pretty point right there well i say point knife blade this cool little guy right here not exactly sure what kind that is or if it was just super sharpened down and that's why it looks like that uh the other hole one i got was this real tiny little paper thin point right here a little willow leaf style that was a nice one found whatever this little weird stone is not sure about that this big old preform or chopper blade or something and then uh we did pretty good on the detecting as well kind of a bunch of random stuff and gear pieces and quite a few shotgun shell head stamps part to a toy gun debuckle part to an old iron smokehouse style padlock um did get my first thimble it's just aluminum but it's my first we did get that nice little marble with some purple in it uh, some more modern still old but more modern bullets valve stem another piece to a valve stem got this piece right here to a uh gas valve some rivets got some buttons a couple kansas brand big joe and a tough nut um this little shot musket ball right here came from a hunt a while back it was the only thing i found that day i figured i'd throw it in here with the rest of the stuff uh did get this nice 1911 wheat scent Real nice and green. This beautiful little piece right here that just cleaned up so, so nice. Back's not as pretty, but display side is beautiful. Looks that gold shine. Found this in the area where all this was found. I mean, this is the side I've been detecting has just been occupied for thousands of years. And found this little piece of lead it was kind of weird it almost looked like a front tooth of course i doubt that but it was neat enough i saved it found this little piece of lead not 100 percent sure about it the only reason i saved it is because i found it right there next to my first civil war bullet within about a foot and it's got the exact same patina as the civil war bullet so i'd say it's definitely period just don't know if it was a bullet flattened out and used for something or what but that right there is my pride and joy from all these hunts was my first civil war bullet and it is a 54 caliber i confirmed that with some digital calipers finally it happened been looking for that bad boy since i've been detecting now hopefully to find some more but all in all i'd say for three hunts it was pretty darn successful i have no complaints whatsoever so uh hopefully y'all out there are doing okay and staying busy and hopefully you're out there finding some treasures of your own and i look forward to 
the hunt this weekend and hopefully I can get some some good video for y'all to uh, to post up and until then uh, stay safe and happy hunting and we'll see you on the next one